Hello everyone, this is N7, and no, this is definitely not a Destiny 2, but this is Halo, <laughs> so you are seeing this correctly in the title and all that. I got uh, the privilege and to get into the technical preview or the tech preview for Halo Infinite, and so I want to show a little bit of what you can customize so far with this um, build, and I think they're going to be adding more stuff um, as... The day progresses but i got access uh, got lucky <laughs> and i'll be maybe uh, uploading some videos a little bit later but this is just pretty much a just customization and a little bit of what's in the shop slash battle pass for those who are interested about it and want to know more um, again since this is a tech preview probably doesn't have everything on the final game so it's sort of like an alpha like bait um uh, probably a pre-alpha build and so there's a lot of things that will be changing over the time of this development so just give you a little heads up on that so let's go ahead and jump into customization um the play right now for this weekend is going to be against bots you, we will be playing against actual players at least for today which is um, friday the 30th of july and so it's just more testing the ai bots for people who are new to um, halo and all that so uh, we're here in the customization. Um, you go into a play menu here, so you can choose multiplayer or academy. Um, we'll go into the details on another video, but we'll go to customization. You will go to armor hall and we'll just go down the list here. And here you can, um, look at your character that you have and you can rotate here by using the keybinds and then you can have you choose your favorite hide ui randomize stuff like that sorry so if you get in here again these are on technical alpha so there's things that are available for two socket but they'll be in, released in the game or in other uh, stuff but uh, this here um, is the colors that you can choose from pretty much like shaders like in destiny and so that's all to scroll through a little bit here so pretty much basic colors um, from Halo and all that. And then these here are locked behind the battle pass, as you can see there. Season 1 battle pass for tomorrow. Buy the battle pass and reach level 6 to unlock. So some of these shaders here are going a little more fancy. But um, you'll need to play the uh, battle pass to get them unlocked and all that. And uh, that one is okay. If you're right... So nothing too flashy with the um, shaders there. And then you can go into the fun customization of choosing what kind of helmet you want. And again, the lock system is through the battle pass or season pass and all that. But yeah, um, pretty straightforward there. I'm a pretty fan of this one here. This is pretty cool helmet here. And then you can choose a visor color, which is fun. You can choose, ooh, that looks really cool right there. Yeah, I think the red one is my favorite here. And so I have to reach level 18 to unlock. And then chess pieces right here. Uh, shoulder pieces. Mm, I, I prefer this one, actually. And the other side. So you can customize very detailed. And then the hands. And there's only one option there. Uh, you can get a buckler. Um, so the amount of detail that you can customize your Spartan is actually quite impressive here. So I'm not quite sure what's the difference. Like you can click in. I uh, don't really see a big difference with that. And then the knee pads right there. And so that's the end of that side of the customization. Oop. Yeah. Right there. And then we can go to our weapon bench. So you can customize your weapons that you get. So you can change the shader once you get that unlocked for each of your weapons. And I'm just going to cycle through. So there's the pistol. Pistol definitely, I played a one match before this recording and it was definitely different. Um, the default controls um, definitely bring up the sensitivity because I think it's mainly focused for uh, controllers. And so it felt a little bit weird on mouse and keyboard, but again, we'll be doing another video on the multiplayer and what my thoughts are. But yeah, that was the 
weapon bench. So I think if I did it too quickly. So there's the AR. There's the pistol. There's the BR, which is my favorite in the series. Uh, this is the... Looks like an interesting assault rifle. Uh, rocket launcher. Sniper. Shoddy, looks like. Or grenade launcher. And rocket. Or some kind of tracking thingy. There you go. And then we'll go into our vehicle bay. All right. And so if we click into here, um, you would probably have different shaders and probably um, different armor sets. You can change, probably change the wheels. It's, if it's the amount of detail that you could put on your Spartan, um, it'd be the same color shaders. Yeah, there's nothing in the shaders side. I think so. It's pretty much just default. <laughs> and there's a scorpion. Oh, the wasp. Nice, cool. I'm going to rotate that and take a look at that. Pretty cool. A new vehicle. A Razorback. And that mongoose with a grenade. Well, it looks like grenade launchers on the front. Ah, uh, yes, the ro uh, rocket hog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they added, um, at least with this, uh, with this build, the, the, the wasp, that's a really cool looking vehicle there. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the body types. So there's only three types with this one here. You go with that one, bring a little bit that, and that. So not too, like, so this one was fills out the armor suit a little bit. This one is a little bit sh shrink, and that's that. So, yeah. Uh, prosthetics. This is a really cool uh, feature here. I was messing around. So what you could do is you can have prosthetic hand, or you could just have it, instead of having the whole arm right here, like um, in other games, you know, you can actually customize it to where you just want it to just to the elbow. And so then this here was real. So you could have, like, um could play it out as your character um, lower arm got blown off and you can just do the same thing with the other side too right there so yeah um, the amount of customization more details into that is really cool and then you can choose your legs um, or not so fun times so not sure why. I think it's just the customization right now. But there's a like that. Okay, AI model. So um, there's a little commentary um, that you can choose. So these different um, AI will be com um, commenting and all that. And so um, instead of having the typical guy uh, talk, you can have to change the voices. A little bit and so you can have a triangle circle and a parallelogram and then a little egg and so again i'll do another video probably of just listening to different types of ai what they sound like and then you can choose the different ai color right there yeah and then presentation is um not quite available yet all right, and I'm wrapping up this video here um, on the shop a little bit. Um, it hasn't fully loaded in, looks like. But you can buy the battle pass for that. We'll go look into a battle pass over there, but you can buy credits um, with real money. You can buy shaders, looks like. Different types for different weapons. I'm recording so just pretty much aesthetic stuff and let's see here season progression so I went to the main menu here season progression here and this is our battle pass and you you have daily challenges so I just completed a match and then you can do capture the flag objectives you can swap them around all that but here's the pass 
So level one here is free. You can get shader. So yeah, just like in the typical battle pass or season pass that you get with any game, you just unlock shaders and um, I think I saw like something about an XP boost or something. Yeah, XP boost right there. So yeah, challenge swap. You can swap challenges apparently if you don't want to use them. But yeah, uh, pretty simple and uh, nothing too crazy. But yeah, uh, that is the customization and shop slash season pass review. And um, uh, according to the time uh, at this recording, I only have 15 minutes, so I probably won't have enough time to record a multiplayer match. But uh, a little bit later, um, I'll be recording some multiplayer bots and just commenting on what we are available for that. So be looking for that. Hopefully this was helpful for you. So uh, if you find this helpful, go ahead and give this video a like and be looking forward to uh, more videos of this technical alpha <laughs> uh, tech preview of Halo Infinite. See you later.